what's going on guys hatapu blessings great risings grand risings hey 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 what up though like hey what's up it's your girl crystal the raw spiritual guru coming through with a new video today and we are going to be talking about cinnamon we're going to be talking about cinnamon and the different usages of cinnamon and we're going to be highlighting the new product which is the charge crystallized cinnamon brooms okay everyone need to get one so these are going to be very seasonal meaning when they're gone they are gone okay and when i say they are gone they are gone so these are a few that i made so far um so this one has the crystal selenite as well as the cosmic things with the stars and the moon as well as soda light it has amazing night clear course and most excuse me moonstone opal moonstone on this one as well as the blue feather um now <laughs> not all of them are going to have feathers this one do have feathers so it's representing the earth energy the air energy the water energy um as well as <clears throat> the fire energy so all of this is represented by the elements and this one <laughs> this one is more of a highly protective cinnamon broom and this one has black conite it has the cowrie shell it also has clear quartz soda light rare jasper the peace sign golden hematite and clear quartz so this one is more geared towards protect protection as well as good fortune with the cinnamon stick is geared towards and in, in, in general right so <laughs> what is the purpose of cinnamon excuse me what is the purpose of cinnamon brooms okay i said the cinnamon sticks um what is the purpose of the cinnamon brooms right so the purpose of the cinnamon brooms is going to basically help repel negativity and bad vibrations it's also going to bring in good fortune and prosperity and abundance in your personal life and in your business life okay so that's what the cinnamon brooms in general do for you but with these cinnamon brooms that i made basically um i didn't hand make the cinnamon brooms itself i actually got it from trader joe's so this is how they will look and they go kind of fast okay so that's the base of the cinnamon brooms from trader joe's but i enchanted each cinnamon broom that i had so i enchanted it under the moonlight the full moon moonlight so we just had a full moon august 1st excuse me i'm all the way in august jeez <laughs> we just had a full moon october 1st and i enchanted all of the cinema brooms that i had under the full moon light and then um whatever comes to me as far as what energies to add to these cinnamon brooms is the energies that i'm going to place on them so these two energies came to me this is more of a light cosmic elemental energy and this is more of a protection and financial um, energy right here i might do one with rose quartz i might do one with citrine <laughs> i don't know i might do one with clear quartz whatever i'm guided to do i'll do um and if you just want a basic cinnamon broom and you can't find one um i'll keep one or two available as well <laughs> so with that being said right <clears throat> let's talk about cinnamon well first let's go from the broom right so with the broom with the broom what you always want to do is keep it standing up don't lay it down don't lay it down you want to keep it in an upright position whether it's going to basically be in your room in your car like at the door wherever you have it you just want to make sure you have it standing up the reason why you want to have it standing up is because at the end of the day when you have your broom in general at home standing up it helps to repel negativity against you away from your home it helps to repel any type of wickedness or witchcraft someone might be trying to put upon you um 
away from your home or wherever you would have this at away from you. So keeping it upright is a great protection measure. Now, when you keep it laid down, then you'll be susceptible for them energies to attack you. Okay, so just remember that. And as far as what you can do with your cinnamon broom or what usages it you have for this, you can keep it in your home. Um, you can keep it in your doorways, like in your private doorway, or if you're you want to in the front of your door, you could put it on your door like a wreath. You know, um, you can, if you want to, you could keep it on your person, maybe put it on your key rings if you want, because this is about six inches. This is not really that big. It's probably like about six inches, but you can keep it on your key ring if you chose to. You could put it in your car where your mirror is. I keep one in my car. Um, I had bedazzled it and basically energized it as well. And I keep one in my car and I'm gonna put one um, on my door. But basically at the end of the day, you need one of these in your life. And if you would like to get one that is charged by the full moon energy, as well as with the crystals, copper and charms, please reach out to me. My email is below or visit my website, www.rootsoflife123.com. All right, so let's get into cinnamon. So what I have right here is just some basic ground cinnamon as well as a cinnamon stick. Now I'm actually going to add this cinnamon stick to my personalized cinnamon broom when I make it after this video. So I want to actually have the elements of the cinnamon broom on the cinnamon broom as well. So I want to have the cinnamon stick on there and then for the protection piece, I'll probably put a black tourmaline or a shungite piece on my personalized um, cinnamon broom and whatever charms is guided to come my way maybe the onk for life uh yeah sounds about right might do that for me mm -hmm. yep <laughs> all right so let's talk about cinnamon so cinnamon in general is a powerful herb you see the thing is we have all these herbs at our fingertips that we just use really for cooking purposes that we don't even know we can use for spiritual purposes so cinnamon it is a very sweet but spicy herb okay so cinnamon is used to attract wealth and prosperity now how you can use it to attract more wealth and prosperity into your world is you can basically put some on your hand and you can sprinkle it around your house you can sprinkle it around your room each four corner around your room you can speak it around your bed each four corner around your bed but what that does it is helps excuse me it helps to bring more prosperity and abundance into your world um you can use it in different spiritual workings as far as like if you was to do like a love spell if you was to do a money spell or prosperity spell you can use it in that you can also use cinnamon um trying to think like for the spells like in your spell work if you do do spell work you can use it in your spell works or if you was to do like a mojo bag and you wanted to create passion and abundance fiery nature you can do that um i used it in my uh elemental salt so i use this in my fire salt because it's sweet but it's spicy it's fiery so i actually use this in my fire salt that'll be up on sale as well on my website too if you can't utilize the elements in its natural state like fire to light a candle or water a bowl of water or if you just don't have the option to do that you can have the fire salt or the water salt with you and they'll still give you the same benefits so i do have that coming so stay tuned for that but yeah brown cinnamon cinnamon in general is a great great herb to utilize and I like the cinnamon sticks too because you can use the cinnamon sticks in a lot of things as well. But as far as the cinnamon sticks, I use them for my teas. So I drink cinnamon tea. I try I strive to drink cinnamon tea daily 
if not every day, deli. Um, with some soursop leaf, sometimes burdock root. So, um, just depending on how I feel, depends on what what type of tea I'm going to drink. But usually it'll be the cinnamon stick, soursop, and burdock root. That's one combination that I do drink daily. And um, cinnamon is good for so many usages, especially internally. So internally, it is an anti inflammatory it helps lower your blood sugar um cinnamon also i'm trying to think uh it is a great antioxidant as well so those are a few things that you can utilize cinnamon for as far as if you was to drink the cinnamon but like i stated if you're not really a big fan of cinnamon as far as ingesting it you might need to get you one of these cinnamon brooms and keep these with you at all times, okay? Um, or keep it in your space at all times. What you can also do, though, like, you know, it just really depends. It depends. You could do so much with cinnamon. I'm not going to get into every single thing, but you could do a lot more with cinnamon. And the cinnamon sticks, too. You can carry it with you for prosperity, you know. Um, but everything deals with what your intentions are. So if your attention is to be more, to gain more, then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to attract into your world. So it really goes by what your intentions are, right? So make sure you utilize cinnamon a little bit more than you did in your past. You will, will not regret that decision, okay? So once again, it's your girl, Crystal, coming your... <laughs> I can't even say, I can't even speak right now. That cinnamon smell, I swear. It's like... <sighs> So once again, it's your girl, Crystal, the raw spiritual guru coming through. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out my website for any of your metaphysical needs. Or if you needed to reach out to me, please give me an email and let me know what it is that I can help you with. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.